I'm Ruth Barrett, I'm a film and TV composer and a director of Strongroom Productions. I recently did Toast for BBC and as a co-writer on Harry Brown, the Michael Caine film that was released last year. I'm Rob Kelly, I'm a co-owner and director of Strongroom Productions with Ruth. Um, and uh, I'm a composer and music producer. I'm based here at Strongroom Studios, which is in uh, Shoreditch in East London. I've edited, mixed and recorded um, most of the uh, projects that uh, Ruth and I have done for, uh, for KPM. Uh, so Strongroom was established 25 years ago. It's a 25th birthday for Strongroom this summer and is in 2006. Uh, Strongroom merged with Air Studios. Uh, so between the two um, buildings, we've got some of the best music studios, certainly in Europe. We've gone from one studio uh, through to six commercial studios in this building. Um, but we've also built um, eight programming rooms, which are basically smaller, but still very nice studios. And the ethos of Strongroom when it started was sort of in the, the late 80s and the 90s when there was a lot of dance music and um, remix um, sort of stuff going on and so we uh, we had resident artists here like Orbital and uh, Prodigy and uh, so it got a real reputation for cutting edge mixing. Air Studios is, is very well known. Um, principally for its sort of high-end orchestral recording and film scoring. Um, that was established by Sir George Martin and has had several locations and it's now in uh, Hampstead, so Lyndhurst Hall in Hampstead, which is where Ruth and I have recorded our most recent project for KPM, Cinematic Beauty. Cinematic Beauty, which is a very spacious, atmospheric, filmic album, which draws on some minimalist textures but it's very modern film school. Um, before that, we did an album, part of an album for the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was um, Africa in Motion double album, which uh, we produced uh, seven tracks for. Um, and the one before that was uh, an album of disco. Funk and Disco. So uh, <coughs> we worked with some very talented session players. Yeah, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, from all around uh, the UK and sort of London session. The whole guys. section from. Uh, with the, the Red Horns and a um, very good percussionist called Jeff Scantlebury who plays with um, Jamiroquai and artists like that. Yeah, so that was uh, recorded partly in here and partly in Studio 3, our SSL room. And I mixed that in, in the SSL. Um, and then before that, Ruth and I worked together um, on the sort of the predecessor to Cinematic Beauty, uh, which was called Cinematic Minimalism. It was mainly using the marimba. Um, we used a, an amazing marimba player called Simone Ribello and we locked her in this room for a whole weekend and said you're not coming out until you've done. played all these incredibly complex polyrhythmic parts that we'd cooked up for her. <laughs> yeah, and some of it was sort of um, definitely a, a nod towards a sort of American minimalism tradition if you like, but we also used a lot of sort of contemporary um, uh, sort of electronics and program sounds sort of drawing yeah, it's from quite a varied the, album. current English, English sort of productions and uh, yeah, it's a, really broad texture and that, and that album has been well. really successful there's a couple of tracks that have done well um, specifically in documentaries and recently quite a few in, international commercials in as well commercials too yeah. so we thought there's something in that uh, that we could maybe take that concept a stage further and introduce strings to that and do this cinematic beauty album wanted to find a creative way of um, using the facilities in the studios and partnering with all the sort of producers and engineers and composers and um, technical people that um, the studios have built up over the years. Um, certainly the many, many amazing session players that um, worked in the studios mm -hmm. to start making a catalogue high quality production music. So that, that, was, that was the game plan and we're now on album five. Yeah, Richard, the owner of Strongman, was really pleased, really excited about making content. In fact, the studio is actually making making something that could grow over time. So, and we thought KPM would be the best people to go with.